Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope everyone's having an excellent day. We have the single integral, integral tan x natural log cosine x dx. That integrand is made up of two separate functions. I find this very interesting. You see how we have that natural log cosine x as a part of integrand? This integral here can become a little tricky unless you remember this specific fact. And there's more than one way to solve this. I'm showing you a good way, a single way. If you're thinking about tan x dx in terms of its antiderivative, there are two of them. There's natural log secant x plus c. We're looking here only at indefinite integrals. Then there's also natural log with a minus, but you're looking at a cosine x plus c. And this can be a regular parenthesis if needed. But you see the difference between these two. And you see how when you're looking at this, you're seeing something like that. So this right here, this antiderivative should be very well kept in mind when you're doing this specific integral here. Do not bring this into the picture because you complicate everything. But remember, tan x integrand has two antiderivatives and here they are. A good way to handle this is integrating by parts. u v minus integral v du. And that right there is the technique I'm suggesting for this. If u is equal to a natural log of cosine x, we can use circular parentheses, then you know du is equal to what? Well, you have to do the derivative of that. It's a composite chain rule. You do d over du ln u and then du over dx cosine x. When you do this, you'll have a minus sine x divided by cosine x. You'll have a minus tan x dx. That will come out of that derivative. V. V is equal to the integral of tan x dx. And this is where you'll bring what I'm suggesting you bring. The other antiderivative. Again, you can do absolute value or circular parentheses here, but bring this. Don't bring the natural log secant x, otherwise you complicate the picture. Now actually look at this and plug everything as you need. U is equal to a natural log cosine x. V is equal to minus natural log cosine x. Right, then you have this minus and you have integral V. You have a minus natural log cosine x and then du is a minus tan x dx. Let's take care of these signs. This minus and this minus cancel out and they'll become a positive, leaving only this negative right out here. And we'll combine everything. Here you can combine it. You'll have a minus natural log of cosine x. All of this is squared. You can put the square here or you can parenthesize everything and put a square. It's all right. Then you have all of this natural log cosine x tan x dx, which is exactly what you're looking at. All of this equals your original integral tan x natural log cosine x dx. When you take this on the other side, you know you can easily add it there because you have a minus here, it becomes plus. You add it to the other side. When you add it to the other side, you bring a coefficient here of two. And then you're still solving for that integral. When you solve for that integral, what you do is you take two on the other side, right? This original integrand natural log cosine x dx is equal to this 2 coming on the other side divided by this. You can do minus 1 over 2 natural log cosine x and then you can do a square. And we can put a parenthesis here plus c. And here it is. Here's your antiderivative and it has been solved. Remember again this integral integrand can be tricky unless you remember that specific fact I told you about the tan x with regards to having two separate antiderivatives based on how you present it, natural log secant x or minus natural log cosine x. If you remember that minus natural log cosine x as we did right over here in terms of the antiderivative, it greatly simplifies everything and it keeps everything here with regards to the cosine x rather than bringing a secant x here into the picture with a natural log and that would complicate it more. Anyhow, this right here is your answer. Minus one over two natural log cosine x whole square plus c is the antiderivative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.